In 2018, Conestoga began introducing some really nice cabinets that we've made some use of in our designs. The one I want to show you here is Conestoga's base two-door, five-drawer cabinet. Two doors, uh, openings, and then five drawer openings. And this cabinet's unique from a couple of different standpoints, and I want to walk you through the benefits of it. First of all, because of inset cabinetry, um, when you marry up multiple cabinets in a row, a run of three or four cabinets, everywhere cabinets connect, you have wide upright center styles with a, with a seam where those two cabinets connect. And people are always trying to design around that because everywhere else you have an inch and a half framing, but where the cabinets join it's three inches. By allowing us to go out to 96 inches wide on this B2D5D, Conestoga has allowed us some design flexibility. So now you can get a three drawer stack flanked by normal base cabinets all in one unit. That's really a terrific cabinet. Now, what makes this unique from an assembly standpoint are these interior partition panels. This is not an assembly video. You can go look at our base cabinet assembly and it's gonna to go together the same way except for two things I'm gonna mention here. One is instead of having spreader strips front and back like our normal base cabinets do, this has a full top. Top and bottom is a full top and it's dovetailed front to back. So when you assemble this cabinet, just like a normal box, you're gonna have a left and right side, a top and a bottom, but before you put the back on, you're gonna slide these partition panels into their dovetailed slots until they nest into the groove in the back of the front frame, then put your back on. So it's no different than your normal base cabinet assembly, except these interior partition panels have to be slid in. Now these partition panels are um, pre-hole drilled for your shelves, so you can put uh, a shelf on this one side, shelf on the other, and your drawers here. A couple things to be mindful of with this cabinet. When you're designing with it, be mindful that it's only available in widths from 48 to 96, 16th inch increments, just like Conestoga's other customization options with base cabinets. Depth, you can go from 15 to 30 in three inch increments, and that's because the drawer glides are only available from Bloom, the hardware manufacturer, in three inch increments. So you're limited to three inch depth increments from 15 to 30. Height, you can go up to 42 inches. Now, when you change from a standard height, these top openings always stay five inches. So if you want to go to a 38 inch high cabinet, these stay five inches. What gets bigger are these two and your door openings are going to get taller. When you change width from 48 to 52, what happens with these openings is they all stay equal. They don't keep the middle one the same and then flex the outside ones. All these will stay symmetrical and equal. Be mindful of that. Last point I want to make is if you're doing overlay, full overlay cabinetry and you have doors, the doors that are sharing this front frame member with the drawer fronts and drawer boxes, these doors are gonna get half inch overlay hinges. So they sell this cabinet with butt doors and this door where it marries up here is gonna use a half inch overlay hinge. So be sure to look through your hardware pack and find the half inch overlay hinges because your outer doors are gonna fully overlay the frame and that'll be inch and a quarter hinges. These ones will be half inch. So a couple nuances with this box, but your sales guys can walk you through how to use it how to design with it. Uh, it's great for butleries, it's great for media centers, wet bars, or even kitchen cabinetry. And we've seen some people use these as vanity cabinets and cut a hole for their sink in the top here. And now you have a really long 96 inch wide cabinet with these three openings and upright partitions. So get creative, it's a great cabinet to use in your repertoire. Thanks for watching.